Good morning. It's Wednesday, August 17th, and there's more good news this morning. And good news is a rarity these days. But this is good news that will affect most people in this country. Gasoline prices have fallen for 62 consecutive days. And the national average stood at 3.96. That's $3.96 on Monday. It didn't fall much on Monday, but it's still the 62nd consecutive day. So the current price is down a dollar six from the high of $5.02 a gallon on June 14th. Now, this average price is not the price that everybody in the U.S. pays. Because we have gasoline prices in California that are very, very high. The average in California is $5.37 a gallon. And it's higher than the three ninety six in many other high-priced states. But the national median price, which is the price at which half of the nation's gas stations are selling, more or less, is down to around 380 a gallon. So depending upon where you live and how you drive, gasoline is getting less expensive for many of us. Even in California, it's down a dollar a gallon. So in 28 states, the average price is less than $4. And roughly two-thirds of the 130,000 gas stations nationwide are selling gas for less than $4. And many are selling it for much less than that. About 25% of the stations nationwide are selling gas for less than $3.50 a gallon. Now the summer driving season is coming to an end soon, and you have students returning to school, so they won't be on the road as much as they have been all summer. And that, is, that definitely will affect the price of gasoline. But there are other factors that affect the price of gasoline. Now, I have included in this rant a picture at the very beginning of a map of the United States. And the colors in the map indicate the prices of gas in many states around the country. And you will see that on the West Coast, starting with like Idaho down to... New Mexico and some other states, that the color is very dark. It's a dark red. And it's also a dark red in New York and Connecticut and Pennsylvania, okay? In Vermont. But then the colors mellow, sort of in the Midwest. But in the South, they really get to be pink, which means they have lower gas prices in that area. And so I've come to the conclusion that many of us overlook the fact that there are taxes on gasoline. And that is a great portion of the pricing. It's the automobile taxes. The taxes on gasoline which the states put on the gas. So if you look at California, they have a 53 cents a gallon state tax. New York only has a 17 cents state tax. Alabama has a 28 cents state tax. But there is no state that gives you gasoline without a tax. But on top of the taxes, there are many other fees that go into the price of gasoline, including an 18 cents a gallon federal tax on gasoline. And then there are state sales taxes and excise taxes. So the price of gasoline goes beyond the price of oil. And it's true right now the price of oil has fallen. Since June 8th, the price of oil futures are down between 24 and 28 percent. But I have no reason for why. Maybe, maybe there was enough oil being produced and that's why it happened. Or maybe because Biden released oil reserves, that's why it happened. But that can't be the real reason around the whole world. So let's take it as it is. The price of gasoline at the pump is going down. So as I look at the situation now, I can see that the price that we're going to pay at the pump is going down. 
the price of gas will go down. And the sales tax on the price of gas will go down because that's pegged to the price of gas. But the other taxes that have been put on it, like the 53 cents a gallon in California and the 17 cents in New York and the eight and the 28 cents in Alabama, they don't go down. That's a fixed price by the gallon. So while oil itself may go down in price and the overall price of the purchase will be less. So that means when you think about it, that the taxes we pay are sort of increasing by percentage. But in any event, there is some relief somewhere in the gasoline situation. And I'm happy about that. Even though I drive an electric car, so that's a big benefit. But I have put gas in my car twice this year, and I expect that sometime in September I may go to the gas station again. And I recommend that all of you get electric vehicles, because that's the wave of the future. But in any event, that's the situation. Gasoline price overall is down, but the governments, the state governments and the federal governments are still collecting their tax money on what we pay for gasoline. So have a great day, and I'll see you in the morning. And I guess the relief in your pocketbook is minimal, but it's there. Bye.